Hi, hello guys, excellent slides here. We create excellent presentations. In this tutorial, I will show you, I will teach you how to create this awesome pulse effect in PowerPoint. So as you can see, there is just a simple oval, but if I click, as you can see, there is this really cool pulse, pulsing effect. And basically this is made fully 100% in PowerPoint. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So as you can see, we have two objects on our slide. So first of all, we will create a new slide. All right, the first step is to insert a simple oval. So go to the insert shapes and here you have an oval and of course we would like to create a perfect oval so you need to be pressing your shift key all right as you can see the first oval is created so let's position it to the middle and to the center all right that's fine so the next step is to insert a duplicate of this oval so we will simply use ctrl c to copy this oval and ctrl v to paste it right here as you can see this is a normal oval that is above this one and this oval is beneath this oval and is and there is also transparency increased so we will do the same so transparency let's set it for 60 percent all right and of course this this oval we also need to insert it to the middle and to the center all right so as you can see if i select all of those ovals and then if i go to the animations animation pane a new window of course pop up and here we have all of our animations and actually there are only two of them the first one is fade out and the second is grow shrink so we will do the same with our slide so select both of those ovals and click once more on this blue oval that is above and that's how to select the oval that is under this oval so go to the animations here click on this drop down arrow and click fade out as you can see we can modify duration so i will set it for 125 second but we need to also add the second animation so we will use this icon add animation and we will select grow shrink if you yeah, and here also you need to change duration to the same like this fade out, so 125. We can also right click and start with previous. And now there will be a really important part because you need to double click on this grow shrink. And here, as you can see, you have some options. So first of all, you can select size of that oval so we will set 250 percent click enter all right the next thing that we will create that we will do is to um yeah to make smooth end so of course you do not have to make smooth end but it will look much better i will show you what i mean in a minute and basically you can click ok so right now as you can see if i click play all this animation happens but it happens only once only one time right and in this slide original slide it was repeating i will show you it was repeating until the end of slide as you can see so let's do it right now you need to double click on this animation go to the timing and here you have something called repeat click on that and you can set 
until next click or until end of slide. So I will select this one until end of slide. Click OK. And the same thing to the second animation, timing, repeat until end of slide and click OK. So guys, I think um, that's done. Let's preview our work. So as you can see, this is the slide. If I click, this animation is playing until the end of slide. As you can see, all of those animations are repeated. And of course, you can modify this animation like changing uh, the size, for instance, 170%. And let's preview that. As you can see, it will be much smaller. Um, and of course, you can deselect smooth end. So I will show you how would it look like. But in my opinion, smooth end is also the best option. As you can see, this is the effect without smooth end. This is effect with smooth end. And of course, uh, you can play around with like smooth start, bounce end, etc, etc. But I found smooth end as the best option in all situations. All right, guys, so I think you liked this tutorial because actually I personally didn't know about this pulsing effect in PowerPoint. But yeah, actually PowerPoint is quite complex program and you can create a lot, a lot of things just in PowerPoint. So if you are more interested in PowerPoint, slide design, PowerPoint animations, etc., make sure to subscribe the channel with notification bells turned on because simply then you will not miss out any of my future videos in this topic. So once more, thank you guys for watching. If you have any question, just post a comment. I always make sure to respond to my viewers as soon as possible. Have a great day and lead a happy life. Excellent slides.